We're live. Holy shit, that is quick. Two fucking weeks in a row of fastness. Hello, hello. everybody. Hello, hello. How are all you sons of bitches? Hello. Oh shit, it's playing in my background. Uh oh. Oh my god. Oh shit. Can somebody shoot Adam a link? I forgot to fucking email him one. Adam, my bad. There's a link on its way. Hmm. Link guys, is on the way! Do you guys have Adam's email address? No. Oh, um, let me type it in chat here, because I know if I... Oh, wait a minute. I got it. I got this shit. I know what exactly what to do here. Adam, give me just a moment here, and I will have you that link, buddy. Lifa, I knew you were missing it, so I brought it back. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I wouldn't say I was missing it. Well, it's back. All missing. right, Adam, check your email. It's in your email, brother. So how are, is everybody in chat doing today? How is everybody? Look at that big docs in the house. Does Knockery. He, hmm, Raven Shadow, King Jig, Kenny B's out there. Yes, fucking lovely, huh? Edward Knapp is in the house. Screaming Mimi will be here shortly. Um, Alan's out there. Addie Tooney, how are you, brother? Oh, our church. Who else is out there? Oh, there's a little bit of everybody out here. The raven's feeling like normal. Lumi is talking That's about cool. Strocket. Yeah, she, well, she's she calls me Stroker. Oh, oh she oh, wants you to stroke it for her, Jesse. God. Oh, all right, got it. Get, hey. on, get on it, boy. What's up, Juan Castillo, Dust and Vapor? You and your you and your you and your robot dick, Jesse. Get to stroking, boy. That's right. Um, just in case you missed the uh, the Insta Grizzle post today, 30% off during my show. Oh my Coupon god. Coupon code golf T. And that's all at standup3d.com. Don't forget in the comment section. Put where's my bag of dicks, and he'll send you a bag of dicks as well. <laughs> so on that note, little penises for everybody. And if you ask very, very nicely, he might even put a big one in there for you to put on your boss's desk if you don't get along with your boss so well. Yeah, Jesse, what would it, what would it take to get like a 48-inch long version of this um i don't know you know just you know you you really have someone you really don't like at work and you want to like bolt it to their desk and make it really hard for it to get rid i'm just asking for a friend this is oh. not something i would ever but for a friend would you settle for a 12 inch one 12 12 inches with some like some uh steel reinforcement down at the bottom so you could really bolt it to somebody's desk like really thoroughly get it on there with some locking bolts <laughs> I'm saying, i can't get this dick off my desk if you leave a hole in it all the way you could just take it and bolt it down to somebody's car where their antenna is down at the base Ooh, good idea with like a car antenna mount with some locking bolts yeah i'd like to do one where you it's hollow when you Drill the base into the table, and you fill that fucker full of glitter and a spring. And when they go to pull it off their desk, they pull it apart. And it yes, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Once again, asking for friends. <laughs> like how far? How far are we from making this happen? Uh, looking at Ashley Brown's in the house. The zebras Ashley. out there. Uh, the great Wombatsky's out here. I see Jay Jerry snuck in. And um, I did see something about... Has um, he revealed his supervillain status? Oof. 
And I think I saw... Oh, I did see a question up there for you. Um, Raven Shadows wants to know if she can get a bag of the JJs. Ooh. I haven't I, I have I haven't done a VJJ yet. Oh, and she said she needs a bag of titties to go with her bag of dicks. <laughs> Raven, I don't know what you're into, but I dig it. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening, Meter? Welcome. Glad you made it out of work in time today. Finally. Jesus, it's been a crazy last week or seven. <laughs> what is everybody up to this week? A little bit of this, a little bit of that. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Yeah. That, right there. Lots of work. Like it or not. A little bit of this. Yeah, I understand the lots of work thing. A whole lot of that i started for the first time in my life playing world of warcraft oh christ we're not gonna see jesse anymore in like fucking give him about two weeks or three weeks and that'll be the end of it in Fortnite. no oh, that's all right that's you're, you're still fun. double you're double fucked then because you're not gonna know where to spend your time yeah if you're playing a bolt though yeah you're not gonna know whether to shit or go blind half the time and then add kids <laughs> good luck <laughs> Yeah. I can say I have been successfully w rehabilitated from the world of Warcraft, so I'm happy about that. Because I spent way too much fucking time playing that game at one point. The TG, your guild is calling. They can go fuck themselves with a big black dildo. <laughs> uh. Only thing I play now is that fucking NES classic that I finally bought. <laughs> oh, Jesse! Oh, Jesse's gonna <laughs> start Does coming. Does that come with a little gun? Or can you call the Bluetooth gun? If no one sees me ever again, it's because of Lumi. Unfortunately, For the Lord. <laughs> Unfortunately, it does not because it doesn't have Duck Hunt on it. So. Uh. However, it does have Double Dragon Two on there, which is fucking sweet. Yes. Got four different Mario games: one, two, three, and uh, Super Mario Arcade version. Does it have River City Ransom? No, it does not. But I have been playing a fuck ton of Zelda, as well as um, what was the other one I've been playing? A whole lot of fucking Punch Out. Because I love me some Punch yeah. Out. Gmail. Oh, and Excite Bike. For those of you into the early yeah. motocross games, Excite Bike. That was the, so, the hot ticket. I thought it did have River City Ransom on it. I guess it doesn't. So that yeah, it uh, Excite Bike was awesome because the the level builder. Yep. And you would try and make it just impossible enough. Yep. That you like you can beat the level, but your friend, there's no way in hell he's beating that level. And he watches you do it. And he's like, "You motherfucker!" <laughs> yeah, Excite Bike was awesome. What's really cool is that the fucking Punch Out game. I still know all the little tricks where to look in the crowd to see the little guy pop up to know when to fucking do specials. I'm going, "Oh, mm -hmm. this is fucking great!" Although every time I go to play it in front of my son. I always get my ass kicked because it's like I'm trying to show off. And it's like when your friends were there, you could never beat Mike Tyson. But when they weren't there, you could fucking beat him. Oh, you right. can. You got to watch the guy. I think it's second row, four over. When the guy pops up, that's when you got punched. Yeah. I swear to God, my kid makes my fucking game playing abilities terrible. <laughs> My, Mike Tyson blinking his beady little eyes. Deck, okay. I can get okay. one shot in here. Okay, back on defense. Yep, back to dancing. <sighs> Fuck Mike Tyson. I think I beat that once in my entire life, actually legitimately beating Mike Tyson. <laughs> um, once I figured out the code to get to him, it was always, if the friends were over... Quick punch in the code and 
oh yeah like like oh you let them beat like glass joe and they're like dude that was so easy and they're right. like right right cool yeah you want to do you want to play a little bit harder harder level yeah yeah let me get you the next guy yeah <laughs> let me get you right let me get you right to him is that, mike, is that mike is that mike tyson flop <laughs> good night addy tuning now see we we cheated in our house we had the game genie ah uh, uh, uh. we used to bring people who had never played together like in a group and then we'd set them up and we'd do the same thing we'd be like here everybody take a turn playing glass joe so you get used to the mechanics of it you figure out how to punch and everybody's like all right yeah cool and then we're like all right who lasts the longest with tyson let me figure it to the next guy <laughs> around and like see who actually gets knocked out the quickest that furious butt mashing and then no like even if you make it even if you make it back up it's just gonna get worse yeah yeah it doesn't get any better <laughs> uh, night brother toonie he's off on his bicycle later um, so before I go any further and we get completely off track, I did say when I snuck in at the end of last night's show, I would give my um, initial thoughts on this. So we're going to do a little talking about this, the Apache line. Yes. I have had a couple pulls off of it before the show. In fact, that's what I've been vaping since we started here. And to be honest, it's really fucking good. Now, um, I know everybody's flavor profile is going to vary a little bit, but I'm at 80 watts, 0.1 ohm, dual big boy comp wire in here. And I'm getting initially a very, very creamy mint. And not, not a menthol because it's not cold on the tongue. Or in the mouth or anywhere. And then after the exhale, that's when I start to get the cake and the butterscotch in there. But it is fucking delightful. And then after, if I pulled a couple rips in a row, that's when it all start, starts to meld together really well. So, I say it, that's fucking outstanding. Standing. I enjoy it, and I didn't think I would like mint because I've tried a couple mint things that were just miserable. Uh, you've done phenomenally well with that one, G. Two fucking big thumbs, way way up on that. Well done, Jesus, sir. Pump it, pump it to pump it to one twenty and see what I'm talking about. One twenty, homie. Yeah, those are rookie numbers. You got to pump those numbers up in this racket. Oh, let's pop it up to one twenty. <laughs> see what happens. Oh, it's it's still fucking smooth. That's the beautiful part. Ooh, she's fucking angry. Raven's asking, would you say it's more of a pink liquid or an RDA liquid? It's it's all it's multi-purpose. Oh, this is definitely multi-purpose because the mint's not overbearing. Like I said, it's a creamy mint, so it's not a a straight out punch in the mouth. But and you know, one twenty is really not bad either. However, that mint really punches through there really good. At it. Yeah. But it's more like a, it's more like a, um, who called it an Andes mint? It's closer to like an Andes mint. Yeah, it tastes similar sure. to that kind of mint, which is great because I hate the chocolate part of the Andes mint. I like the fucking Andes mint mint portion of it, but I don't like chocolate and mint together. So it, that is fucking just done phenomenally well. <laughs> G says he hates mint and menthol vapes too. <laughs> And what does he do? He's selling something he hates and loathes. Welcome, Adam. Thank you, Jesse. Howdy, howdy. How you guys doing? Chilling? Not oh, too bad. Sorry, I fucking forgot to email you, dude. I was actually on, a, up until I sent fucking shit out, I was actually on a phone call with a buddy from the Army who I haven't talked to in probably three or four years. I would have yelled at you in chat eventually, so don't worry about it. That's cool. I wasn't going to let you get to it. I do more than look pretty. <laughs> Multifunctional man. That's right. Yeah. Okay, actually, it was a guy who was at Fort Polk after Fresh left. God, did I ever used to get tore up with that guy. Cool. Yeah. That's a recurring theme with people that I hung out with at fucking Fort Polk. 
tying one on all yeah. the time. Yeah, it really was. Oh, I miss that case. <laughs> Fucking old, his skinniest ginger redneck I have ever met in my fucking life. Yeah. Fucking, he couldn't put on weight. It didn't matter what we did. We'd fucking, we'd feed him all kinds of stupid shit at like 12, 30, 1 o'clock in the morning while we were drinking. No weight at all. And that, that dude was the epitome of the puking rally, too. He'd get about halfway through the night and he'd puke, rally, and come right back at it full force. Then wouldn't puke again. Fucking weird. Like, I could do that in my like early 20s. Like, I could pull that off. Like, do the puke rally. But, like, I'm almost 40. Like, yeah, I can't do that anymore. All right. It takes my butt. If I, like, really, really drink hard, like, it takes my body, like, a good 36 hours to recover. So I just don't drink like that anymore, you know? Two or three quality beers at the bar. I honestly thought, um, I, you know, you didn't see the group chat that we were in, but I was in a thing of what I was doing this weekend. Fucking big old fifth of fucking fireball and fucking about two cases of beer. But, and we were fucking going to town. I felt like a champ the next day and no hangover. And I was fully expecting to just feel like straight dog shit. I felt great. I was expecting a three-day hangover, but it never happened. Everybody else, on the other hand, those pussies, they were hurting. But the important question is, did you flip your desk? No, my desk is too fucking heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Some would say that means you didn't go far enough. There you go. Uh, if I managed to flip this big fucking desk that's in front of me, I'd be impressed. <laughs> But you were outside by a fire. I wouldn't even buy a fire. We were just sitting oh. in between our driveways. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> nice. Closest thing we had to a fire was the fucking charcoal that was left in the grill from dinner. <laughs> that was a hell of a weekend. Oof. And... Missed Good weekend. It. it was. I don't do that too often, but the fucking neighbors wanted to hang out, and, and the neighbors are around our age, so I'm like, sure, yeah. fucking why not? I'll drink beer and cinnamon whiskey. That sounds like a great idea. <laughs> well, last weekend I had some uh, Moscow mules at the place we went to go out to eat, and damn, they were tasty there. Like the best Moscow mules I've ever had. I get home and try, I'm making them up myself, and I'm like, what the fuck am I doing wrong? They tasted good at home before, and now I want to go back down there and drink more of those $8 Moscow mules. <laughs> mules though, even the bad ones are still pretty good. Yeah. It's kind of like pizza. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That ginger beer, man, there's something about it. Just even a bad one is still like, yeah, that's not, not terrible. <laughs> even when it's, if you it's have bad, it available it's near you. If you have it available near you, get some burners. It's like burners is like half ginger beer, half ginger ale. It's like a Mich Michigan um, product. It's it's really good uh, with that, and it's also good for dark and stormies when you mix uh, dark rum with it. Interesting. That sounds pretty yeah. damn good. <laughs> dark and stormies are a good pyre drink. <laughs> What's up, Scott? That'll fucking clear you out at 120. Holy shit. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, bit. Zebra knows what's up. That's fucking a that grapefruit shandy, dude. I tell you. Between that and the watermelon, it's like, fuck, it's my kryptonite, dude. That watermelon, I'm like, fine. Fuck it. I'll go buy another 24 pack. God. <laughs> <where's> my... <laughs> yeah, that watermelon shandy is good. I didn't think I was going to like it. I was like, watermelon and beer, man. Eh. I figured it was going to be way too sweet, and then I was like, "Oh, this is." No, and it, it, was, it was it was like a unsweetened watermelon because you just got the flavor out of it, not the actual fucking sweetness. Oh, uh, so it's not like a Jolly Rancher. No, no not at all. Not in the least. <laughs> the, that's where like uh, Jose Cuervo had their watermelon margarita 
uh, all made up. I'm like, oh, that doesn't sound bad on a really hot day. You get is nothing but like melted sucker taste. Yeah. Melted Jolly Rancher. Ugh. Nothing like putting more sugar into a drink to give you a better hangover the next day. I mean, I guess if I'm going to have fucking a, a Jolly Rancher drink, I may as well just drink a fucking Zima and drop a Jolly Rancher in it. <laughs> there you go. Zima. Go all 1993 on it. Right. That drink got so oh. much... Uh, sorry. Oh, I was saying that that Zima got so much bad attention. It was like everybody made fun of it. Never ever gave it any traction from the day it came out, but still, it came out again. Yeah, and it yeah, did really stuff. well when it came out again too. Yeah, yeah they did. started they started coming out with Zima again, Kenny B. Yeah, Zima's. Yeah, the the sprite is. Uh, Ah. <laughs> I think it came back out about the same time as uh, they tried to relaunch Clear Pepsi again. <laughs> <laughs> so. yeah. Clear Pepsi. See, I'm, I'm one of those people that actually enjoyed Clear Pepsi. The Crystal Pepsi. <laughs> I thought it was, yeah, I thought it was, it's like a, almost like a ginger, like 7-Up seven or, seven or Sprite. It's wonderful. It I can't think of Crystal Pepsi anymore without thinking of that fucking Van Halen song playing. Right now! <laughs> like, you <laughs> tell my mind flashes right to that because I'm like, oh, oh yeah. my God, 90s fucking thoughts. Yes. <laughs> it's you tomorrow, right now! Yeah, giant lock. It's everything. <laughs> Van Hagar. That's yeah, right. It's true. It was It was Van Hagar, not the Len. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> hmm. Look at that saturation station joined us. Scott's out there. Uh, people are sneaking in left and right here. Oh, screaming! Screaming! Mimi just came out. Yeah, she's asking about Tab Cola. Oof! I don't. My mom was fucking addicted to that shit in their little pink cans. <laughs> that was my I think grandma. they renamed it like Diet Right, didn't they? <laughs> tab? No, Tab. But Tab just went off the market. It was like. That was the one calorie soda. That was their claim to fame. Yep. <laughs> it's st tab still out. I think so. Wow, I thought they. I thought they nixed it. I didn't even know they still had that shit. <laughs> what gave it that one calorie though? Yeah, but oh they, god, I don't know. They reformulated Jolt Cola though. That shit's not the same anymore. Oh, it's it just fucking like Red Bull in a fancier can you now. It's not yep. Jolt Cola anymore. I used yeah. to love that shit. That's yeah. it's not what it was. Jolt Cherry Bomb. Oh, so good. Fuck oh, yeah. That shit was like... Yeah! Didn't they start making Kick again? I know they started making Surge again. Yeah, Surge. Surge is back like a motherfucker. People are loving it. I loved it the first time around. Like, why couldn't you guys buy into this back in, like, 97? Right, yeah. We're all motherfuckers. Prime. Let's just bring back Orbits, too. Nothing like little balls floating around. I was around explaining and Orbits to... Uh, uh, my next door neighbor, who's like a sixty-year-old man, a couple days ago, and he's like, "What are you talking?" About? I'm like, "No, listen, dude. It was this clear drink, and it had these little floaty balls." In it. He's like, what? "It was, it was a carbonated boba tea without any fucking tea in it." Yeah, exactly. Basically, yeah. He did not believe me. I had to, I had to pull up in a Google image search. He was like, "You guys were nuts." <laughs> and what edge? Or, what was the other one? Yeah, there's another citrus one that had the pulp in it, and they were proud about the pulp. It wasn't Surge. It was there was another one. You talking about Fresca? Mm -mm. A soda that had pulp? Yeah. Why the, do I know about this? In the little twenty ounce bottles, you could actually see it. You turn turn the bottle over a couple times just to see the pulp. Huh. What's up, Tommy? A little pulpy soda. Oh, shit. Tommy! Tommy Vapor's in the hizzle. That is a strange one. Oh, yeah, I'm like, I'm like, wait a minute. Wait, wait. How come I don't know about this? I totally would have drank the shit out of that. Thinking it was better for me somehow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's full of pulp. 
They didn't tell you it was wood pulp. It's all right. <laughs> Why am I going blind? <laughs> it's citrus pulp. It's tree pulp. They just add it in there. It's all the. It's the only thing that I'm drinking that's got pulp in it better be fucking orange juice. <laughs> <laughs> or we oh, yeah. Well, Orangina was, was great, and they still sell Orangina. That's awesome stuff in the summer. Orangina? Orangina, yeah. Orangina. You don't say Orangina over in, <laughs> over in France where they sell it everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> It is not China. You want that? You go down the street. <laughs> Joan Soda. Joan Soda's still out, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're All huge over. here. Oh, yeah. Still huge here in the Midwest, too. They fucking love that shit, man. They can't keep it stocked in Walmarts. Yep. That f- uh, Joan Soda. Joan Soda sold themselves off to somebody. I forget. They well, do a they turkey dinner. Here, so there's stuff. all sorts of fucking stupid college kids. Yeah. yeah. They do See, a turkey dinner soda? I never wanted to try it. Are we? Somebody wants to talk Alaskan brand beers to me. Listen, listen. Have you been to the brewery, Michael? Mo- Michael Murray. <laughs> That's where they keep all the good shit. Actually, I've been seeing um, Alaskan Pale making the rounds. I've been seeing it come out everywhere. Um, I had that stuff probably. I want to say seven or eight years ago when I was up in Alaska the very first time, I fell in love with that stuff. And they had a blonde that they got, they completely got rid of it. But that blonde was amazing. The Alaskan blonde, fucking, oh, it was ridiculous. Next time I went up, they had this version of it. It was just like all hoppy and shit. I was, I was so upset. <laughs> Fuck, you fucked up such a good thing. I came back to I came back to Alaska. This is one of the things I was looking forward to. Not the beautiful scenery or anything else. I came up here to drink a shit ton of your beer, and you ruined it. <laughs> Fuck. Went scuba, Steve. Oh god, it's done. Which one? The one in Juno, Michael Murray. The big one. <laughs> Later, G. Jeez. Yeah, it was. It was. They had so many. They because the, the cool thing about their about the brewery when you actually go to the tour is they have like all the experimental shit that they're trying to figure out. You can drink that there. And then they let their uh, every employee gets their own personal little setup to make their own experimental brew. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and so if you if they if somebody makes one that is really really good. It goes into the it goes into the rotation for the for the brewery, so you can get it locally. Nice. My a G. Never been plan on it one day. Go, dude. Go when you're in Juno. It's like a ten dollar tour from downtown. They come and pick you up and drop you back off. Well, they pour you back off. <laughs> but while you, while you're in the brewery, you can drink as you can drink as much as you want. Ain't yeah, nothing wrong with that. My mom got shit faced up there. <laughs> my mom, done, my mom doesn't drink much, but she got fit shit faced at the Alaskan brewery. <laughs> barely, barely made it back on the cruise ship in time before it was time to leave. <laughs> nice. Well, there's only one time I can ever remember seeing my mother shit faced. Well, nope, two, but only one that really stands out. I think I was 11 or 12 years old. She went out with her and whoever else. And at the time, the fucking house we lived in, the front door had this huge fucking plate glass window up at the top. Mm -hmm. Didn't see it. Fucking smack! As I'm sitting there watching her walk right into the window, just fucking hammered. Hilarious. Mm -hmm. Just fucking face full of glass. You just see... (laughs) Strange Brew is a hell of a movie. I do enjoy that one. I grew up on that shit. McKenzie Brothers. Yeah. That fucking record was great. Fucking hoser. <laughs> 30 point buck. The Youpers. You talking about the Youpers? 
the fucking youpers. The thirty point buck. Right, thirty point buck. But that that is a fucking the second the week before Thanksgiving here. You can turn on any fucking radio station here. It doesn't matter if it's hard rock, country, classical, whatever. That fucking song will be played on there every morning around between 3 and 5 a.m. as all the hunters are getting ready to go out. Yep. (laughs) Fucking great. Everything but the rap station here does the same thing, and it's just like, yeah, it's must be season. Oh, no, even the hip-hop stations here do it. Oh, wow. It's fucking great. They, it's just because, well, hunting's fucking huge here in Wisconsin, so. We're still a little too close to the Bible belt. We're we're sitting right smack dab on that Jesus is my co-pilot belt buckle. (laughs) Oh, lordy. I've been drunken enough in a deer stand to think that I saw a 30-pointer at one time. Right. Come to find out, it was only a fucking spike. <laughs> <laughs> Two little bronze. The one that you caught up with was the spike, and that thirty pointer had ran off by that. Yeah, apparently the spike was standing right next to him, and I shot the spike instead. <laughs> They're crafty that way. Sneaky little bastard. That's right. <laughs> In fact, actually, that's another good story. I remember my, <coughs> excuse me. My fucking uncle, myself, and my cousin were all out at, this, out at the fucking shack. And my uncle, we go out in the morning. He's the only one who bags a fucking deer. And it's a big one. Man, fucking big old 12-pointer. Nice spread. Just old buck and... He drags it in. We all come in for the evening. He's done by fucking noon. Okay, yep. I'm just going to sit here and celebrate and drink while you bastards have to go out tomorrow. Motherfucker. He gets so shitty drinking sevens and sevens. Oh, fuck. Seven and seven. Yeah. Yeah, he was a se- he's a seven and seven guy. Always has been. I swear to God. He probably throughout the day he drank probably uh, about a half of a one point seven five liter of seven. Yeah, I, was gonna say, I don't never remember a seven and seven man who drank it out of a fifth. It was always a half gallon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that son of <laughs> he managed to get so fucking trashed by the time he went to bed. We we were already passed out. We woke up to the loudest fucking thud at about 2.33 in the morning. And he had fallen off the top bunk in the shack all the way down to the floor. And he's laying face down, butt-ass naked. No fucking clue he even fell off the bunk. Just put a sheet over him. Or just a towel, just a towel over his junk. And, I, over his ass. and I'm wondering if he ever actually made it to the top bunk. Or if he just fucking nosedived before he fucking even got up to the bunk. Yeah, I assume that he was there and just went sideways off the ladder and ate floor. And the world may never know, but as loud as that thud was, it sounded like he came off the fucking bunk. He came off the top rope by the sounds of it. <laughs> just laying there, no fucking clue. He say, he thought he saw that 30-point bunk was trying to drop the elbow. Apparently. Randy Savage style. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky he got to it before the bug got to him. <laughs> <laughs> right, Edward? Yeah, seven and seven was dangerous. That was the problem with seven and seven. Like it's really, really fucking tasty. Like like I know guys that won't drink it because it tastes so good. They they think it's like a ladies' drink. I'm like, dude, you will get ripped up right, off seven and seven. Oh well, yeah, that old fucking Canadian mm. whiskey and fucking <laughs> seven up. Woof. That's a dangerous combination. It's just smooth as silk. That's the fucking problem. Like, it doesn't taste like there's a shit ton of whiskey in it. Yeah. yeah. And ironically, almost sweetens the 7 Up. Yeah. It's so good. Like, wow, this is <laughs> better 7 Up. Okay, cool. Yeah. Five later, you're like, this 7 Up makes me weird. Yep. 
funny. <laughs> like how many of those you had? I have no earthly idea right now, but I I know it's a really good idea if I don't stand up for a while. Right. <laughs> yeah. uh, Someone I, bring me a beer. I'm going to be nursing it. <laughs> it's a don't stand after drinking for an hour drink. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. That's, a, that's, a, that's what you have to do with those with those sneaky tasty drinks like you'll sit there and you'll you'll have like five of them and you look over and it's only been like 20 minutes and you're like oh shit <laughs> oh, look wood tick mike you do not have to class that up you can say you're a bartender it's okay social chemist it's not social. necessary around here we're not here to judge people but you know when i see something yeah. like that i might judge a little bit you uppity son of a bitch <laughs> I'm speaking of class, speaking of classy, church is uh, church is class in the joint up with this bottle of Soco. Uh, yeah, I did drink a lot of Soco at one point. I yeah, I, dr- I drank a lot of Soco when I was in high school. Yeah, yeah, because it was sweet. <laughs> yeah, Soco and Coke. Yes. <laughs> yep. My buddy used to do Soco and red Gatorade. Ooh, I could like, see that being tasty. Soko with him so that when everybody else would do like rounds of shots, he would pour himself his own Soko and then do it with a fucking red Gatorade. We were like, what the fuck, dude? That was his thing. Oh. You know what? You know what? This is this is this will tell you what what my high school days were kind of like. You know what actually tastes pretty good together? It's Southern Comfort and the Green Mad Dog. Oh, <laughs> The MD 2020 yeah. and Southern MD, Comfort. MD, MD 2020 and some SoCo. I remember that, that green melon ball. Yeah, yeah like it was like it was a me- like it was a shitty melon wine, but the SoCo for whatever reason worked with it. Mixed it, <laughs> and we were we would. Oh God, you're that's that's you're gonna you're gonna regret every life choice you've made up to this oh point. My God, that just just thinking about that combination makes my life want to flash before my eyes. <laughs> Oh Jesus! Yeah. <laughs> best uh, best hangover in the world, MD twenty twenty. I beg to differ. Uh, soju, right soju will get you like nothing else. I have never had like I'm not a hangover guy. Like I, I get up and kind of stumble yeah. around for a couple yeah. minutes, and then it's time to go get something to eat. Um, soju made me feel like someone had stuck an axe in the, in the middle of my fucking head for like two days. I do like soju though. Oh. It's so good. That was another another dangerous beverage. Go get a soju kettle down at the down at the bar in Korea. Oh lord! Yeah. Just, uh, just soju and soju and Kool Aid, and it tastes like Kool Aid. Uh, soju in anything, and it tastes like yeah. whatever you're drinking. <laughs> yeah, it's bad, bad, bad times, man. You know, I tr- I tried to lessen my hangovers with soju by mixing it with Gatorade. It doesn't work. <laughs> oh. I was like, maybe if I'm hydrating and dehydrating at the same time, it'll work. No, no, it doesn't work. <laughs> no. And you got to get that good Korean shit, the one with the the one with the formaldehyde in it. <laughs> it should better not be available in the states, otherwise it's no good. Yeah, if you if you're buying if you're buying soju here in the states, you're buying some sort of purified bullshit. You need to, it's the stuff that costs like four bucks for a liter. <laughs> Better be made in somebody's fucking bathtub after their dog just got washed. <laughs> it's not the stuff you can buy right around the base. You got to walk a little bit. That's where you go get the real stuff. And the, and if they catch you trying to bring it onto the if they catch you trying to bring it on bring it onto the post, they'll take it from you. That's how you. That's how you know. So you would always take a water bottle and you would empty the water bottle out and you would fill it fill it with the soju. <laughs> Who's got a camelback? <laughs> oh, a camelback full of soju. We're taking it with us. <laughs> Who was it? Was it fucking? I remember before Polk Mondak would ride the riding lawnmower around, fucking, fucking whiskey and coke in his fucking camelback. Yeah, in his camelback, Mon Dizzle. Yeah. You just see him out there just happy as a fucking clam, like rolling around in like 100 degrees on this fucking lawnmower. And you're just like, all right, dude, go for it. Like, <laughs> please, please, please don't tip that thing over. But he had like a he had like this methodical system. Screaming Mimi is bored now. Hmm. Suck it up. Yep. Suck it up, buttercup. 
It's not a Saturday show. Sometimes welcome you just get Welcome to up. Wednesday. Welcome to Wednesday. We're talking about booze. Yeah, and you know what? If you're not getting <laughs> enough booze, maybe you can walk over to the fridge and grab one. All right, our show, I think, is meant to be more of a supplement than a, a primary source. Yeah. I think she might be bored because you guys are all talking lightweight type stuff. I know, right? <laughs> I like some good moonshine once in a while. Oh. I found a couple little hidden moonshine bars when I was in Louisiana. That was fun. I don't think it would be that difficult to find one. No, but they were basement bars, like walking into somebody's house and going into their basement bar. Nice. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Not around the Fort Polk area, though. Oh, okay. I found them um, closer down towards New Orleans before you go over the bridge. Okay. Only, I was going to say, it's got to be all, all over the place down by Lafayette. And the only reason I found them is because I had a buddy who lived down there in Morgan City. And okay. he knew of a couple, and so I went down there, and that that was a good time. Although, there was some of that stuff he's like, be careful, because some of this shit will make you go blind. I'm like, all right, <laughs> well, note to self, don't go blind. Probably would not look good, me coming back to base blind and not being able to see shit. <laughs> Oh, uh, just TJ's in the passenger seat trying to play cool. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. What day is it? Is it night or is it daytime? <laughs> <laughs> like, why, why is your friend doing a full Ray Charles over there? It was it was some bad scallops, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> top, uh, top, top. You're going to have to back off the golf game for like three, four days till my eyesight comes back. <laughs> yeah. That motherfucker, who was it? Um, the one fucking for a sergeant who was formerly, uh, he was a psych tech, was over at Malcolm at one point. Remember yeah, I know who you're talking about, that douchebag. Who was always had a fucking drink in his desk. Yeah, he always had it. And you would go to, you would be walking through in the middle of the day, and the, all the senior NCOs from the hospital are all hanging out down in his office, and you're like, gee, I wonder the fuck why. Yeah, and it, he didn't even have good liquor in there. He was drinking Jimmy Beam. Yeah, and they'd be out. You'd you'd like come back for lunch, and they're all outside, and they're like they're all stripped down to their t-shirts, playing horseshoes, out the horseshoe pits that we built. Yep, assholes. And then they would, and then they would come around on Saturdays because they hated their fucking lives, and just bust people. Like it's that's not how the barracks are supposed to be. Yep. Like if you're drinking in the if you're drinking at the barracks. Like you're supposed to be left alone. That's like an uh, that's like an unspoken rule of the army. Because yeah, it's your fucking house. Yeah, exactly. You're not going out. You're not getting in trouble. You're just hanging out, drinking with your friends. As long as shit's clean the next day, who cares? That's it. But they would. Yeah, we had a commander and a first sergeant that hated hated their lives, and they would show up and bust people. That what do you guys think about the broadside the broadside clone. Which broadside clone? Um, um, where is it? Like that? Is it good? <clears throat> Are they good? Yeah. I was going to say, yeah. It's excellent. Although you're really not going to find clones. one that looks like this. Ed Edward was asking. Yeah, really good clones. They are, actually. I've got this. Oh. And this one that hasn't been polished in a while. I thought I had mine. Oh, I, I was going to show mine off and be cool, too. But... I do not have one, either. They're excellent. I like them. They're good and solid. To be honest, it. I was impressed with how close to um, one to one, one to one it is. And really, if you know it's a clone, and you treat it like a clone, you keep an eye on your button or your switch, rather. Make sure your contacts are clean. Works just fine. And, and to be honest, I've not had super. a problem with any of the contacts in either of the clones. Super, yeah, super duper safe mech too. That's the he, he's he, gonna be getting Mamie. It's got an insul it's got an insulator it's got an insulator inside even the clones. So the clones are the condoms. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, let me see if it... Mimi Mimi getting a robo dick. Nice. And you yeah. can see the little insulator in there. Nice yeah, but, piece of yeah, for that 
Yeah, even if your battery, even if your battery wrap has a tear in it, it's still relatively safe. Yeah, in fact, um, if I remember correctly, Heavy did a video on one of these where he took the wrap completely off the battery, threw it in there, and vaped it. Yeah, and told everyone, "Don't do this," but mm -hmm. just to show that even if you do have a minor tear or something, you're not going to blow your fucking face off. <clears throat> Although he did look nervous when he was doing it, though. And for good reason. Is this going to work? Is this going to work? Is this going to work? Uh, well, you know how low heavy likes his fucking builds. And, he, you know, he's not going to run a pussy battery in that shit. So I can see why he'd be nervous for a demonstration like that. Uh, and, he, and he took it off a brand new fucking battery. Just fucking. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That's uh oh. Kid Please get next. Yeah. All that shit she was talking, she just wanted one of her own, that's all. It's okay. I understand. Put her some big boy comp wire in her first build in there, that'll really scare the shit out of her. Light up her life. Yeah. She'll be steaming, Mimi. Oh, steaming, Mimi. Steaming, Mimi. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Which one did you get, Kenny B? Who's in top chat and who's in live chat? I'm in live. I was in I was in live chat. I just had myself scrolled up for some reason so I couldn't see what was coming in down below. I got a friend that has a couple of them. They're pretty nice. Yeah, I just can't see throwing that much money at them. Yeah. I was looking at a clone enforcer yeah. yesterday, literally, like <laughs> Honest right now, I technically have no vape budget right now until I can donate plasma again. So, all right, Freddie, which one did you get? Yeah, what'd you get, Freddie? Uh -oh. oh, I know he's he probably got one of them, another one of them $800 mods. Yeah, Is it something one. that you might have to sleep on the porch for? <laughs> Does Sasha know about this? Should we be talking about this, Freddie? We wait till the show is over to continue this. You can private message us so that way it doesn't show up in the chat when she watches the replay. <laughs> as far as she's aware, it's just a pulse. I can read without moving my lips, just for the record. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's was was that a, uh the only question I have, was that pre approved? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. Is eulogy or not? Look it up. <laughs> yeah, Sasha. Sasha may be coming home from the knife store as we speak. Right. His final words might have been, I got a JV Woodworks LMAO. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. And that's what's going on his tombstone. It says, it says I saw nothing. <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, made a killer trade for it. Nice. Even better. Sweet. What's happening, ID? Oh, that is a hell of a nice... Tr See? I haven't done any trades yet. Oh, because... Eh. I'm not that worried about it. As long as I have something that vapes, I'm a happy camper. This is the truth. Don't get me wrong. There's plenty of things I really want, but I can't afford, so. Right. Yeah. Why window shopping's free. Yep. That's it. Cost you nothing to look at 3F. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, last night I had a dreamer, like, in a cart, ready to go. <laughs> and I was like, no, you... You don't need that. You can't afford that right now. No, you want it. Stop it. 
<laughs> so, uh, yeah, I actually restrained myself. <laughs> I'm in jail, yeah, but the word thinks I'm taking that. shit. <laughs> <laughs> on, and the new friend did love his chat room. <laughs> uh, uh, now I'm looking at JB Woodwork squonkers. You got me. <laughs> got me looking pretty. Fuck, those are pretty. No. Screaming at me we don't have a trucker mouth. <laughs> what? No, you have a sailor's mouth screaming at me. That's a completely <laughs> different <laughs> trucker ain't got shit on that sailor. What's that happening, Paul? Which Paul? Oi, con that one. Oh, oi. <laughs> oi, Paul. Oi. The saucy Aussie. Oh, we, uh oh. <laughs> I just got. Oh, dad gum. Freddy. Paul wants the link for those squonks. He wants to check them out. What? <laughs> JB, just search for JB Woodworks on uh, Insta Grizzles. Check my is, this, is that Giz or is it Jack that gives his login information? That's pretty. There you go, everybody. That is oh, pretty, pretty. Yeah. It's like pearl wood. Yeah. It's it gorgeous, good. man. Sweet baby Jesus. Right? God <laughs> damn. I don't even want to know how much those things are. I, I do. Because I need to know how much I need to save up. Yeah. <laughs> and how long it's going to take me. <laughs> oh, man. That's like 20 gallons of plasma. So, so those are like second mortgage mods. Gallons. Yeah, if it's a second mortgage mod, then I'm going to have to save up for a minute. Oh, they sell them through Facebook. All right. <laughs> 36 gallons. All right. Are you making 36 gallons of? No, I said those <clears throat> those mods would take you 30 gallons of, of uh, plasma donated. And Giz corrected me, it's 36 gallons. <laughs> yeah, that might be the case. Fucking, was it, 70 or 80 bucks a week? Yeah, it'll take a while. Yeah, now I, I'm good for another pull. Go for it. Go for it. Shit, just to have enough spending money to go to fucking Detroit this year, I had to save up for like three months. <laughs> I wouldn't buy any shit for like three months prior to leaving for Detroit. <laughs> Not a goddamn yeah. thing. Be right back. Okay. Oh, where the hell is Cam Man? I have not seen Cam Man out here yet. Cam Man Dan? Yeah. He actually sent me an email because um, he had the missus watching the show this last week. She felt embarrassed because she accidentally said something under his username instead of her own. So she just stopped watching. It's like, tell her to get her ass back in here. I'm not going to give her shit, but I'm going to give her a little bit of shit. Right. It's okay. Yeah, because I, re I remember the conversation going from one account to another. Yep. First time watching the show, subbed, liked it. Yep. Remember seeing that and then, like, fucking disappeared, and I was like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> well, the, yeah, the, the, the conversation continued with Cam Man Dan. I was like, Cam Man Dan wins here all the time. Yep. <laughs> yeah, he does fairly well around here. That's what happens when you show up. That's right. It's true.
<laughs> Blood bank bankrupt mod. <laughs> There you go. That's the name of your next company. <laughs> you're you're design yourself up something fancy. You know, maybe I'll just have to make myself something. Then it'll be a one off, and I'll just sell it. Somebody stole my seat, bastard. <laughs> it's a cat. Come here, cat. Hi. Say hi. Hi. Hi, kitty. Wow. Dad, I'm not even I'm not even remotely interested in any of this. Yeah, they never are. See, bro. One more day. One more day. One more day to get comments in. That's right. Um, yep. Less than 24 hours. Thank you. I almost forgot. Link is still in the description below. So make sure you're fucking doing your thing if you haven't. You have 24 hours-ish. Do it. That's assuming they're going to hold all the way till tomorrow night, too. Yep. No, it's probably end of, end of government business day, so East Coast. So. That's what I'm figuring. We probably have about oh, 5 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, so you're looking at like eight more hours. Or no, for tomorrow night? About 12. 12 more hours, yeah. Um, well, no, actually, it's a little more than that. Probably like 17. Yeah, less than a day. Don't wait. Less than a day. That's the key. <laughs> Just fucking do it. <laughs> Yo, leave a comment, goddammit. <laughs> so we got uh, Gizzard did post up a, a review today. Oh, I didn't see that. That is the greatest review I have ever seen of any liquid. <laughs> yeah. Pretty pretty classic. Anyway. Yes. Be uh, best 30 second review you will ever see. I concur. That could become a series, I think. You don't even need two minutes to watch that. I'm perfectly all right with everyone going and watching that video and then just coming right back. I'll see you guys in 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Who is a dick stick? <laughs> Mimi. <laughs> dick stick. Or is your dick stuck? Is that what you meant? Was the dick stuck or is it a dick stick? Do you need help right now? Is does, this does Edward need help? This is Farva. Do you need my assistance? You need me out there. <laughs> what a goddamn large farmer. She wants to lead her a cola. <laughs> That's what she is going to get. So that wooden mod. The angry pope? The angry yeah. pope. <laughs> angry pope's an amazing mod. It was a good choice. It was a good choice on your part, Mimi. Yeah. That one brings all new meaning to Stabwood. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> to say the name's more than a mouthful. That's what she's going to get. Perfect. <laughs> oh, that's fucking great. If that, if that really happens, we will do a Saturday show. I'll show up for that. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. I will mute a UFC event if that happens. I'm not going to turn it off. I'll mute that motherfucker. <laughs> no. Backpedal, backpedal, backpedal. Quick. Wait a minute. This is like this comment set is getting really. Things are going sideways here. <laughs> I 
Fresh, I think we need a link for uh, Edward. For Edward? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got it. You got it, Angry Pope. Got it. You have to import it from the UK, so you might want to talk to the company before for placing the order and see if they'll ship it to the US. But uh, I believe it's an Angry Pope V2 mod. It's so angry. <laughs> It's so mean. Mimi, I keep telling you this. Saturday is when I feel like doing a show. That's not an all the time thing. It's a once in a while when I feel like tying one on. <laughs> and I tied one on this weekend, this last weekend, but that was in a different setting. I wasn't really in the house. That was a lawn chair thing. Yeah, it was. And it was actually delightful. It's been a while since I've done that outside and just fucking get all ripped up, stumble into bed, damn near trip over the baby gate. <laughs> just sit at the edge of your your garage. And... Yeah. Luckily enough, my garage is far enough off the fucking road that not even the cops can see me when all the lights are off. <laughs> We got a brand new neighbor across the street. That's all he does. Sits at the edge of his garage. He drinks. He has this pack of orange Pall Malls. I told him I'd set him up. <laughs> He's like, ah, I tried that before. He goes, thanks for offering that. orange Pall Malls. He's beyond giving a fuck. You know, the, the, guy, um, the guy has no right leg from the knee down. And he hops in and out of his big old, big old F-150, and he mows his own lawn on a rider, and he does, he put in a fence for his dog between the garage and the, and the house all by himself. I'm like, I look at him, and I'm like, all right, he, I offered him. It's his decision. He's made it this far. He's lost a leg. He can choose whatever he wants. Right. Yep. He's really comfortable with his station. <laughs> I don't give a shit. I'm going to do what I want. Why is it not coming up? It does, it does not want to come up. He's an adult. Huh. That's ironic considering the uh, mod. I know, right? The site is not excited right now. It won't get up. <laughs> Did you tell it you were over 21? Uh-oh. You know what they're doing? There it is. Limiting your bandwidth over there. <laughs> Better not be a holes. Limiting his Googles. <laughs> That's it. Fresh is on a watch list. <laughs> How many times are you gonna look at this fucking thing? He's Googled too much weird shit. They've seen him come across this website too many times. They're like, That's it. There you go, Edward Cap. This guy has an infatuation with the Pope. Right. <laughs> Why is the Pope so angry? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, that's great. We're helping people buy angry Popes. Right. Saving the world, one dick mod at a time. Oh, God. Although. Oh, I remember this mod. Jeez, thanks, Rush. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I think you need to take that to a cloud comp. <laughs> <I'll let> you. <laughs> Didn't you have it, you have it in your hand, hand, hand all set up, and the guy won't even want to turn his back to you. Right, be like, ready to go? <laughs> <laughs> fucking just reaching over your head here. <laughs> <laughs> Hit him in the ear with it. <laughs> I'll show you, Beep Capital. Reach over and rub him on his cheek. It just hits him right next to the lips with it. <laughs> just tickling the corner of Edward's mustache all the time with the rude poke. I could see screaming Mimi now. <laughs> <laughs> it says not suitable for low ohms. 
Sorry, what exactly it's, it's is considered kind of long? Mouth, exactly. Like it's kind of a mouth and lung type thing. One to some people, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's six to seven inches, so it's not meant for going super deep. Super deep throat, Mimi, but I mean, <laughs> she says, OMG, it's enough, right? So It'll definitely tickle your tonsils. I mean, it's what that's 120 pounds, so that'll wind up being somewhere between 150 and 160 bucks, probably. Yeah, um, about give or take. Ooh, what, she don't like it. It's worth it. Uh, Put it right on the shelf. it would be an investment to take the like, uh, expos and yeah, I, yeah try my juice speaking of expos i guarantee you could get edward if you get a broadside there's a dude if you go to an expo his name's gatorboard you want a dick you want a dick covering for that gatorboard will make you a dick cover he don't give a shit you just tell him what you want and he will whip it up right there on the spot and if you can't do it on the spot he will send it to you yeah yep. he'll make you a butt plug mouth He'll make you one of the most hideous things ever in the history of ever that ruins the vape on anything that you put it on. I've seen that one. That one's amazing. <laughs> I mean, it's way bigger than any atomizer that I've ever put it on. So <laughs> so you got two modes with this. You can just have just the tip. Or you got the take it deep. Holy <laughs> It's a, now that's what now I'm that's what I'm talking about a direct lung hit, right? And See, the easy go, dripper go still down works down in there. On a different website. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Don't get me wrong, Raven Shadow. It's an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous strip tip. But man, when you start putting it on stuff, yeah. If Yeti's uncle was here, oh, the joy I could have. Put it on the drop solo. <laughs> Actually, I'm putting it on the drop solo right now. <laughs> I'm making fucking cringe. He's going to be twitching through the internet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it only goes part way in. Giggity. She said. Right. You can only get the tip part way in. How <laughs> ironic. <laughs> Uh, good time. Be fun. It'll be fun. be fun for a minute, but you can't marry that girl. <laughs> <laughs> I hope she ain't Catholic. <laughs> It'll make her angry. That's why they call it the angry folk. Speaking of Alan Gorby, he was there. He was standing right there when I when I got that made. Pretty sure. Edward says, like I said, my 28 year old daughter wanted to find out about that Pokemon. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. Figured I'd read it out since he said it twice. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah, Gorby was standing there for that one. Then he was standing there for the ones I had made. Then he realized they had what he wanted in the case already. Yep. <laughs> exact color you can right, stand so. there you can stand there and pay 20 bucks or you can pay 15 and just take it off the shelf <laughs> i think if i'm not mistaken gatorboard gave it to him for 10 for realizing he stood there that long <laughs> uh, what's a trade of strip tip i don't even know <laughs> what does that mean I'm a little, I'm a little terrified to to search what Freitas means, but you're already on a watch list. You better not do that. Hey, you're the only one here willing to. <laughs> Did you mean Tardis? We're googling vicariously through Fresh right now. What is a Tardis? Oh fucking Christ! Don't 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 start that. Please don't this start show that. Has bigger on the inside than the outside. See, she did mean a Tardis. My ex-wife, she was a Tardis. She's a pilot now. <laughs> it's gotta be it's gotta be I, th I think she it has to have meant tardis because all that's coming up is like a financial institution in italy otherwise mimi cards against humanity is awesome it's only awesome when you're able to make up your own cards 
That makes it even better. Uh, I don't know who that is, Giz. If they're at your front door saying they know me, I know nothing about it. <laughs> and, um, is that who the fuck is, Flat Earthers? Is that what that means? I don't know. It might be. Because we're still picking a fight with the Flat Earthers. If you are, it's cool. That'll give me some more hits on the channel. The Earth is not flat, you dumb motherfuckers. <laughs> it's right re rectangular. We all know that. You know, it just depends on which side of the cube you're on. <laughs> oh. I always laugh when I hear that flat earth stuff and then you hear one of them say, well, that person lives on the other side of the world. <laughs> mm -hmm. If it's flat, there's no other side, you dipshit. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm going to stop that here because I, <laughs> uh, I, I don't need any hate mail. I, They're coming. They're coming. It's too late. The internet's seen it. <laughs> Malcolm, if I start getting hate mail. I'm just going to do a mass reply to all of them. You were born well, retarded. You, can't fix it. I'm sorry. Are you just now saying, that you have said it on the show, you can all you can tag the show Flat Earthers. You just send them a you bunch of pictures of balls. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a quick way to get like 3,000 views on a video. It is. You're going to get like 2,900 thumbs downs, but you'll get like 3K views just like that. That's right. Yeah. It can be 2,900 thumbs down. I don't give a shit. Still so counts as an interaction. That's Thanks, an interaction. Guys. Thanks, guys. Hmm. You don't have to like it. I think I'm going to take Gizzard's uh, <coughs> inspiration there and do a, just a 30 second video about it. <laughs> about Flat Earth? Mimi yeah. wants to know what kind of music you guys listen to. Yes. Um, I like All the kind. Everything. Except for country. I just, I, I've never been able to get into country. I listen to a little bit of everything. Philip Wheeler makes a valid point. That's right, Philip Wheeler. Ivana. <laughs> That's why I have dogs. They just knock shit off. They don't intentionally shove it slowly in front of you angrily. It's not anger. They're just doing physics experiments. They're little scientists. Yeah, those Bob Marley. True. It's I true. like Pennsylvania trap music. Not anywhere else. Just trap music that comes from Pennsylvania. <laughs> Amish trap music. Right. Crash likes corn on the cob. But like the band got the life, so you know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, man. oh, I love it. Is that like a, is that like a countrified version of corn? <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. Kind of like uh, Hazy Dixie. It's yeah. the bluegrass version of ACDC. AC, oh. Dixie, and Steven Siegel are both great. New Country does kind of blow. Like, there's that, that, what's that band that does, like, um, oh, what's it? Iron Horse. They do, uh, bluegrass versions of just about everybody. But their, their version of uh, Float On is actually better than Modest Mouse's version of Float On. Oh, Let's yeah. see yeah. what you need. <laughs> What you need is some shitty flute in your life. And I'll play some right here for you. It's pretty short. Sure. Yeah, you got some right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, And that if guy gets want, hundreds of thousands. Fun, of you go over to the YouTube channel, Shitty Flute. He you gets hundreds of thousands of views. Anything. Oh, <laughs> we were in the wrong business meter. We should have just grabbed a recorder and a kazoo and went crazy. It ironically immediately made me think of Ralph Wiggum in the beginning of the Simpsons movie intro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Like, I was kind of expecting it to end with... Da, 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 
<laughs> oh man! Oh. When that guy, when that guy goes live, he has like six thousand people watching him. Oh, live. I bet, I bet that dude just fucking drowns in views. Not yeah. pussy, but views. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is it? There's a I forget which band it is. There's some band where they buy a child's instruments and play fucking like. Anything on child instruments like these cheap, shitty, yeah, the dollar Walmart. store guitars and drum sets. Yeah, I know the ones you're talking about. Those videos are always great. What was that fucking one they did? Oh, uh, they did. Oh, I think it was a uh, When Worlds Collide. <laughs> yeah, they did a uh, Pantera Walk. Oh, yeah, um, <laughs> it's set. fucking excellent. <laughs> Hello Kitty drum set for little kids and shit. I was like, this and the guy's just fucking crazy. rocking. Yeah, and he gets it, man. You're like, holy shit. Mimi, is that I? Is that in a gotta de feta cheese? <laughs> <laughs> you know who else is really fucking good? I like Steel Panther. Oh yeah! Wow, you're getting old. Those guys are fucking hilarious. <laughs> They are on many, um, many episodes of a tattoo show called Bondi Tattoo. They go, they go over and tour Australia a lot, and they stop into that tattoo place every time they're there. Never seen that show. Dropkick's good. Dropkicks are always good. Yeah, you can't go wrong yeah. with Dropkick Murphy. If you follow them on Facebook when they're in the heat of tour season, every show they're encore, they go live on Facebook. Yep. And Was that Adam? You were talking about the the Me First and the Gimme Gimmies, right? Oh, I love Me First and the Gimme Gimmies too. Oh, Those guys are excellent. Dolphy did bring them up. Yeah. Yeah. They're fucking awesome. What is it that? Uh, their their going Japanese album is fucking awesome. Just I you don't understand the fucking word they're saying, but it is excellent. <laughs> that fucking I used, to, I used to get drunk, uh, of course, uh, with Mondak, of course, and we would sit there and just jam out to me first in the Gimme Gimmies. Oh yeah, but, you know who else Gimme like Gimme was fucking classic shit. Him and the Super Jew, they liked very similar music. Yeah. Oh yeah, Mondak is straight up punker. Yeah, like you would—you never would have guessed it looking looking at him because his cardigan. Like Scott, if you can, I almost feel like pulling a picture of the dude up and showing what he looked like because, like all these stories we tell about Frank the Tank, like if you actually saw what the dude looked like, you'd be like, "That dude did all that." You'd be like, "No fucking way." Oh, oh, he fucking did it. <laughs> yeah. And then some. Steven Seagal. Sometimes I like to record Poodle Curl. Just replay it. To be honest, there's a lot of those fucking cover band bands that are actually really fucking good. Oh, there's another one uh, that comes to Irish Fest. It's the Red Hot Chili Pipers. <laughs> <laughs> they cover stuff and they have like ten guys with bagpipes at the at the front of of the stage, and they, they cover a bunch of rock rock songs. Speaking of that, I read I can't remember where the fuck it was. I read I read some article where this lady was talking about she thought she was getting dirt cheap tickets to the Red Hot Chili Peppers, and so her and her husband they drove like four hours to go see this fucking band that they thought was going to be the Red Hot Chili Peppers and realized it was the Red Hot Chili Pipers. She said, <laughs> and they were fucking awesome. She said, best $10 and four hour ride I've ever spent. They are good. The only bad thing is they come every year and they had the same set every year. So oh. after you see them a couple of years in a row, you're like, okay, who's at the other stage? <laughs> That's the tourist music. Uh, 
there is a band in the Chicago area. Um, they are an awesome Irish ska band called yeah. the, the Tossers. Yeah. Yep. I see you, name. You've heard of him, Adam? Yeah, for sure. I see the name. Oh, that guy is. Time. That guy is fucking crazy. He'll come up to the stage. He's got his lit cigarette in his <laughs> lips, and he's just going going at the mandolin. And then right before he sings, he just spits it out on the stage and just goes. And if he messes up, he'll go ahead and he'll just yell into the mic, three, two, one, remix. And they all just stop and go again. <laughs> uh, he got kicked. That man got kicked out of the Iowa Irish Fest. Because the guy halfway through his second song went to the back of the stage and puked off in the back of the stage, he came back and said, Three, two, one, remix. <laughs> <laughs> they, they caught it on his wireless mic. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Jeez. Mm, that's fucking great. It's like, this is Irish Fest, but you're not supposed to be that drunk that you can't perform. <laughs> I really wanted them to come back, though. Every drink that I have after, like, two beers makes my guitar playing, like, 15% worse to 25% worse. So, yeah, like, I had to learn how to, like, not drink before shows. And it especially sucks when you get older and better because then you're headlining a lot of shows. And sometimes the headliner doesn't play till midnight or one in the morning or something. And you're like, fuck, I just don't have another drink. Yep. <laughs> but I also want to, you know, not f up the whole time either. So I do like some good ska music and punk, though. And I, I like fucking Pepper out of Hawaii. Yes, those guys are fucking excellent. I think I've seen them live like probably six or seven different times, and not just when I lived in Hawaii. Also, and saw them in California and Texas. Fucking excellent. Surprised they never made, they haven't made it bigger than what they are. Although it, part of that is their style of music because it's got a Hawaiian feel to it, but it's still a punk rock. In fact, if you haven't heard, if you haven't heard of them or listened to them, go look up the song Give It Up. That'll hook you right there. Put that in my to do list. I'm telling you, that was the first one of the first songs I ever heard from them, and they played it on the fucking radio in Hawaii. When you listen to the song, you'll understand why I'm surprised that they played it on the radio. Look, Mimi. The rules around here are 18 to 80, blind, crippled, or crazy. If they can't walk, you carry them. That's all you got to know about age around here. 21 in some states. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we went through this on a Saturday show. Were you drinking? She just asked again. I know. I was just thinking, smoke two joints in the morning, smoke two joints at night. Nice, that sounds like me. Makes me feel alright. Cream <laughs> and Mimi says she's 47. I'll be 38 next month. <clears throat> I'm older than both of you. You're not older than dirty. You're dirty than old. <laughs> oh, I'm only 34. I'm 35 in December. I is 37s. Yep, illiterate in every fucking thing. <laughs> I'm the old man here. Yeah, you have that. On Friday, I passed. Uh, I, I made it to my five years of no cigarettes. Nice. Congratulations, oh, man. Dad. Fucking awesome. Yeah, dude. I'm, I was like just super excited. I was like, a day cannot come soon enough. 
Freddie, you're, you're 30, but you look 17. <laughs> 16, 16, maybe. Yeah, there's a couple times they did want to ID check you. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> this fucker's balls haven't even dropped yet. What the fuck? He's vaping. What? I'm just kidding, Freddie. I'm sorry. He looks young as fuck, though. <laughs> he could pass for 14, 15, somewhere in there. Freddie? Yeah. On camera. In person, yeah. in person he looks. I, I, I would have guessed he was about twenty-five. He's a, he's a, he's a little older than that. But I don't know. I bet if you got him all clean shaven, fresh cut. Oh yeah, no. If he was clean shaven, he'd be fourteen, fifteen. 15. Yeah, you could pass him for a young team, I think. We, we could definitely get him into the movies cheaper. Yeah, if I <laughs> shave, I, I look like a fucking 12-year-old. Yeah, I look pretty young, too. When I shave, I still look like an asshole. <laughs> oh, man. I think you even have fresh beat. Mm -hmm. I think I, I think I have fresh feet with age. Well, to beat him, you'd have to be younger. Oh, is that how it works? I is that is that how it works? Is that the game we're playing? Well, I mean, you, I mean, that's not how races work, Jesse. I'm I'm going with it. These aren't fucking Bob Barker rules, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, close is not going over, bitches. <laughs> that's not how we do contests, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> Some people's fucking children. Jesse, why you gotta be fucking things up all the time? Jesus. Okay, so Fresh and, and Leafa, how old are you guys? Who is older? Life is older than me. How old do you think I am? I know. <laughs> I don't even know. 69. 69, perfect. Nailed it first time. <laughs> seven seven answer. Yeah, we definitely can't wash it off, Kenny. One, Dude. Once the asshole sits in, it's there for life. <laughs> you're not just an asshole, you're an ass hat. My my um asshole maturity started really, really young. Way way before all the other boys. I can relate because when I was a child, my mom told me never to half-ass anything, and I've been an asshole ever since. <laughs> hey, if you're gonna be good at something, do it all. You gotta be real good at it. That's right. We we do have that sign upstairs, right by the short chart. We had to explain what half-ass means because my <laughs> ten-year-old son just didn't get it. <laughs> it's like when you take out the garbage, but you don't put the other bag back in. The next person with eggs in their hand that they just cracked finds out there's no garbage bag in there. And they have to throw them in the sink for the time being until they can put a bag in. <laughs> and then that's when you realize he didn't put the lid back on the trash can when he put the bag in the fucking dumpster. <laughs> so, wait, how old are you, Fresh? Like 40? Not quite. 38? Not quite. 36? You're, you're moving in the wrong direction, man. <laughs> you're 50? I'm just kidding. Yep. Exactly. I'm just a dick. 50. <laughs> 50. So you're older than 40. No. Can you do math? Mm -hmm. I mean, you are a number slut. Just think 1978. <laughs> number slut. Here you go. <laughs> I was born in 80. That's not very hard math to do. See, everybody's spoiling it out there because I've I've said it before. How old I am? Yeah, yeah. 
I you guys are no fun. Make Jesse sweat. Make him sweat. Yeah, I, I just remember how old Fresh was. So. No, I, I, I don't remember. <laughs> I've known for a long time how, fresh, how old Fresh is. Because I know how many years he had me beat by then. Yep. <laughs> Church guest? Yeah. Good stuff. Raven Shadow and Nate Thirty Eight remembered what I said. I don't sucks when you're stuck in that those AARP things in the mail. Dude, if I could have AARP and all their fucking discounts, I would sign up right now. Are you kidding me? I looked. I looked to see what age you had to be. Them fuckers are sending me shit already, and I'm younger than both of you. ARP cards. I'm getting the the big card with the fucking free bag on it. Yeah. No, my dad's a, my dad's a ARP. Like he he uses that card with no shame. Cause you get yeah, discounts. You get discounts everywhere for, with the with your AARP. I figured they were sending them to me, like they send them to people when they're like younger, like that, to get them conditioned towards it. Like by the time they're fifty or whatever. They, no, they just they're like you. You just get it. So you, they, they, you think they're Pavlov training you? No, see what it is, Jesse, is when. When you signed up for Columbia House when you were 10 and you said you were 18, yep. they had your names on a database. <laughs> <laughs> That's where AARP got all their data. I don't I never did that. But maybe. That's where a lot of a lot of cold calling places get their data from because you signed that little check mark that you agree to the terms that they can use your data as any way they want to. I never thought of it that way, but Makes sense. Or any giveaways of like a, a fair or anything. You you sign that card. You could win this car. And at the bottom, you check mark. I accept that I can use. You can use this information as needed. And you get calls from from cruise lines and timeshares saying, "Hey, they'd like to give you something for free too." I've gotten pretty. I've gotten pretty well blocked out at this point. So I I still get one you know, uh, once a week or so, but. Yeah, immediately blocked. I keep getting the ones for my extended car warranty. I'm like, nice. I'm like, which car? And they're like, yeah. oh, your your 2006 or newer car. I'm like, which one? I got 15. <laughs> they hang up. See, I stopped getting those a while ago. Now I'm I'm made my way back in the rotation somehow, and I'm getting student loan calls again. But. I'm, I'm, I've got to jump on this because apparently this is the last time they can call me about this offer. That's what I heard too. <laughs> yep. This yep. offer. Just, and I'm if we don't respond here. this time, they don't know if they can ever help us. It's, <laughs> that's my fear. I'm just like, oh. I can never pull a trigger. I can't do it. Well, here, I'll just give you my bank account information. You just do whatever you want with it. I'm, I need this. Oh, uh, so so Zebra says his ten year old got the same call yesterday. What credit card did you send your ten year old up for because she has good credit? <laughs> oh shit. My kids are gonna have great fucking credit. <laughs> Either great or really bad. <laughs> we booked ten hotel rooms on my daughter's credit card. Uh, is she the one that's in the stroller? Yes. You won't have to worry about it for 15 years. Yep. Oh, yeah. I was raised in the 80s. I had phone bills in my name throughout three states, apparently, growing up. Didn't even realize it. I had some crazy stuff going on, and turns out my sister was using my information to get her utilities and stuff on, and then not paying it and just moving somewhere else. <laughs> my dad did that for a while it was neat when i found out i had like 975 dollars i owed city utilities and houses i never lived in one bill <laughs> alone was like 1800 bucks and i've 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 had utilities in probably eight different towns that i've never even fucking visited <laughs> <laughs> yep always need to find those out you're like what the fuck are you talking about and then they show you the record and you're like oh hmm Mother bitches, right? <laughs> they always try to get me to do a fraud package on it. And I was like, what the fuck? I know my sister. I'm not getting nothing out of her. 
right? So I'm like, what good is it going to do? If they're using my name to fraud you, what am I going to get? <laughs> yeah, she already has absolutely fucking nothing. You can't get something from nothing. <laughs> Oh, I always love that conversation. Well, loved that conversation. Like, like is this so-and-so? Sure. Uh, so you owe us this, this, and this for this. Oh, really? What's the address? I mean, I never lived there. Yeah. I and, then, and then it's just like that silence. They're like, ah, oh, fuck. But, in, yeah, what town, in what state? What year was this? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, pretty, sure, pretty sure I was in the Army living somewhere else. 1500 miles away from that area. <laughs> yeah. I was across the country. I'm not, I'm pretty sure I wasn't in the state of Oregon at the time. <laughs> this was in 1985. Fuck you. I was still I was in diapers. Five. I was yeah. five motherfucking years old. I might have been potty trained, barely. Oh, I never got that, although I did get a random bill when I turned 18 from a fucking hospital. From really? a surgery I had when I was about 11 years old. Nice. Dick move. They just they were just sitting there waiting. I was like, I was like, really? They had one of those gotcha motherfucker alarms set. I'm like, I was a fucking 11. That was my parents' responsibility. Don't send me that fucking bill. Well, you're yeah. 18 now. You can go fuck yourself. I was un- under the care of someone else. I, I am not accountable. Yeah, I, I had no I had no say I had no say in that surgery whatsoever because I would have told you no if I knew it was going to drive. Who who signed the paperwork? Right. Yeah. Do you have my signature on file there? I don't think you do. Yeah. Who who gave consent for that? It wasn't me because I wasn't of legal age to give consent. Bill them. <laughs> yeah. Zebra knows. Yep. <laughs> Go, hmm. Hawaii, Hawaii, huh? Hawaii. I went hiking there once. I, I don't think I needed utilities for that. Pretty, yeah, pretty sure that's not required. Yeah, I mean, unless you didn't pay the campground you stayed at. Oh. <laughs> uh, Tip your waist down. Try the wheel. Talking about, I was I was using all that military shit that's there. <laughs> uh, Prepaid. <laughs> that's right. Rent a cottage down down by the beach for like 150 bucks in Hawaii. Never gonna see that deal unless you unless you have that military ID card. <laughs> hey, D, was that hooker a female or a male? Was it a mahu? <laughs> if it was in Hawaii, they don't call them. Necessarily women. It might be a Mahu. AKA a lady man. Or a man lady, depending whichever way you want to say it. Depending on which way they're going. It's a trap. The funniest shit in the world is uh, because I did live in Hawaii, I remember going to downtown Honolulu the first couple times I was there. Mike. What the fuck is with all of these bitches with these clear high heels on? Then I realized they're all fucking hookers. And that's how you tell them apart from other peop- other women on the streets. Do they have clear heels? So I think I was living there about a year at the time. And my mom decides finally, well, this is a good reason for me to finally visit Hawaii. My kid's there. So she, she brings my aunt down... They come down and they go, we want to buy some of those clear high heels. No. No, you fucking don't. Stop. <laughs> no. You buy them back at home. <laughs> you buy those fucking things at home and you keep them there. <laughs> Never bring them here. Fuck that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> there you go, Kenny B. There you go. <laughs> no, um, Zebra, it's a dude with a shit du- duct taped between his legs. Tucker. Or ace bandage. Okay. It's the surprise you weren't hoping on getting. That's why you cup check. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> like, why don't you come to this club with us and dance? Yeah, when you're fucking 21, you feel like, wait, wait a minute, what's that rubbing on my leg? Get the fuck out of here. Whoa, it's just my concealed carry. It's okay. <laughs> It's a pretty floppy fucking sidearm you got there. 
<laughs> I, haven't caught, I haven't had him call it that since college. <clears throat> oh. Duck and tuck. <laughs> And if they bend over, they're a goat. The goat. <laughs> oh. Fuck. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's been fun. We should wrap this up and take it around the room. This went by a lot quicker than I thought it was going to tonight. And I did not say it enough tonight. So if you have not, click the link down in the description of the video. Go to FDA100K.com. Please, 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 if you have not done so yet, go fill out your flavor comments there and submit it, please. The more, the merrier. I'm not going to bang on that anymore. Let's take it around the room. Who wants to go first? I'll go. All right. Well, Ray, you can go first then. Let's shout out, of course, Peterboard Drip Tips with the butt plug. And a door e liquid, you know, yeah, purple army. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh, I got some this one. You want to see a uh, short, short, the quickest e liquid review ever? Head on over to Gizzard Stew's channel. Um, John Carlo, John Carlo, check out the Apache line. If you'd like a nice minty vape. Check it out. And uh, go on over to the Pink Pussy List. Check out all the others that are over there, like Vinyl and Vapor and, and others uh, where you can get all your discount needs there. Uh, thanks again, TJ, for having me on. Thanks for coming on, brother. Who do you want to pass it to? Who looks like they need to uh, I'll pass it to Adam. Ooh. Caught him off guard. <laughs> So, yeah, thanks for having me, TJ. Um, it's always cool hanging out with you guys, talking vaping, talking bullshit. <laughs> lady, lady voice. Yeah. Lady voice Whatever. tonight, Adam Polarczyk. <laughs> Whatever we bullshit about, it's always cool. So, uh, yeah, just uh, happy to be on, guys. <laughs> and uh, if you want to, check out my band, uh, Eddie and the Arsons. You can buy our music on all the available music platforms and whatnot. Um, and go buy shit from everybody that Leafa just mentioned. Thank you. Uh, let's pass it to my fellow Illinoisian, Jesse Stucka. Hi. Well, thanks for having me, TJ. Um, like Leafa said, go get some Adore. Check out that new Consequence. It's awesome. And um, also, a couple of new... YouTube reviewers. I don't know how new they are, but um, vaping with D and um, Lumi nineteen ninety two streams. Go check them out. They're doing some juice reviews and or liquid reviews and stuff. And um, yeah, fresh. Hello. Oh wait. Go check out my website, standup three D dot com. There's some awesome stuff over there you need for your organization of your atomizers and such for your okay. di for your, all of your diy stand needs yeah two unicorn bottles a 120 and a boston round boston round that's all of them it's light enough to use on your scales pretty much any scale that you got it's light enough to use nice and durable in case you couldn't tell because i just threw it across my desk <laughs> But yes, excellent work, Jesse. Excellent work over at StandUp3D.com. Uh, go over to Adore Liquid. Get yourself some Addy's Yogurt. 100% of the proceeds goes to NotBlowingSmoke.org. You can go get yourself a sweet Spork Life shirt over a vaping swag. Shut that shit off before I get a goddamn strike. Because that'll be a quick one because Disney are cocksuckers. Disney will get you in a hurry. I don't know who we that heard was. The, you bastard. We heard the beginning. We heard the we heard the Star Trek song or Star Wars song starting. Oh shit, you're gonna cause a riot saying that. <laughs> oh, wait, that's almost worse than my fucking ringtone going off. Don't say shit vape like and that. Swag, vape and swag, everybody go get some vape and swag. The meter made meter made uh, meter made melons. 
the Maui Mash. He's got a bunch of new liquids. But if you get the shirts over in the Freaky Fresh Friends section, remember all the proceeds go to notblowingsmoke.org. So I wonder how many thumbs down I just got your video. <laughs> All right. Uh, who's left? I, I have to throw it back to, to TJ at the poopy pants desk because there's only one person left after him. Welcome to the poopy pants desk. That's right. So uh, everybody's knocked it out of the park here. Um, yes. Um, two things. The, the deep consequence. Fucking amazing. So go over to Adori Liquid and fill your carts with little purple hearts. You will not be you will not be happier once it comes in the mail. Also, um, while you're over there, being as this is new to me, I know it's not new to everybody else, but this is the lazy man's way of rewicking, and it is fucking awesome. <laughs> That's all I can say. I like the re lazy way man of rewicking, and the cotton's pretty good too. And if you don't like the uh, ends on it, you can get this bag. There's a lump. I don't know if it's on the site, but she also does have where it's just a, a nice long <laughs> strand. Um, so if it's not on there, maybe put, put a bag of the cotton threads in your cart and then say, hey, if you have the long rope version versus the, the threads, I... I believe they're the same price but put a question in there sweet also um please go i'm gonna say order this because this is fucking great i yeah, is. think i still like bali song better however this is right up there with it this is fucking great and i've barely gotten into the bottle uh, so head on over to Armageddon, show g and ducky some love over there I will gladly take care of you, and you'll not be disappointed there either. Also, do go check out Vaping Swag. Um, get you whatever you want off of that site is fucking good. I, there's nothing that I have had there that's bad. And there's some things that are outside of my flavor profile there that are still fucking good. Speaking of which, I should have an order coming in here shortly from Swag. Which I am excited about. Um... Because I did order some of the Meter Made Melon. And also one of my favorite um, lemonades over there. That Watermelon Raspberry Lemonade he's got is mm -hmm. fucking delicious. The Quenchers. Yep, the Quenchers line. The Quenchers are amazing. I actually just ordered the Concentrate for that. Because I already know how fucking good it is. So I was like, I'm yeah. just going to build myself a big old bottle and call it a day. Uh, also, go check out Coil Vape. Anyone else I've missed who is on the pinkpussylist.com. Don't forget the the or list at the end. Because if you just go to pinkpussy.com, you are not going to be getting that list that you're looking for. Might be getting something else you're looking for, though. Yeah. yeah. And I, even if it's not something you're looking for, you might be pleasantly surprised. And it, who knows? Maybe it might sway some of you to look at things from a different angle. Other than that, I don't have a lot to say other than FDA100K.com in the description. If you have not done so, please go click the link. Go over there and put in your favorite comment to the FDA website. Because like I said, you don't got much time left. That stuff ends tomorrow, July 19th, 2018. They gave us an extra 30 days. So if you haven't done it this late and you're procrastinating, just remember, procrastination is like masturbation. It's great till you realize you fucked yourself. Yep. Um, other than that, do your part, educate, advocate, not for yourselves, not for the person to the left or the right, or any of you in the comments, or any of us here on the panel. It's for those smokers that have not made the switch off the stinkies to vaping yet. We got to do it for them. So, without further ado, we will leave it to the man who can end a show like no one else can. Over to the Meter Vapes. First and foremost, TJ, thank you for giving me a place and a way to end my Wednesday that I can count on no matter how horrible the day is. I have a panel full of lunatics and an audience full of psychos that are going to be there and they're going to break whatever bad juju I had going on that day. And for that, I can only say thank you. Thank you very much. 
Thank you to each and every one of you who tune in every Wednesday. You are the reason that I continue to do this, that we all continue to do this. It's the reason things like this are possible. Community. Community is the reason that we do a show. Community is the reason that we got an extra 30 days because we as a community came together. That time to put this work for this effort in ends tomorrow. So there's no point in harping on that. What I want to say to end this show, what I would wish from people at the end of this show is to remember not tomorrow, but next Wednesday. Advocacy doesn't end when this campaign ends. Just because this fight takes a pause doesn't mean the fight for advocacy takes a pause. And you don't have to do it every day. You don't have to be a hound about it. But you have to do something. We have to band together or be banned together. Oh, fucking stupid. Thank you guys for showing up. And everybody in the comments, thank you for coming out. Who would like to take us out since um, somebody is in jail right now? I, I can find the song. I have the song. Oh, you do? Yeah. Okay. Are you doing that fresh? Go, Jesse. Remember, everybody, as you go through your week, try to be extremely nice to someone because they might be that person that, that helps you out someday when you really need it. And get off your butts and vape. Bye, buddy. Deuces. Get off your butt and vape. Get off your butt and vape. Get off your butt and vape.